Fraser Smith and Matt Yellop are partners in their Hamilton-based company, Farmshed Labs. Among their products, they've designed a heat detection device named Flashmate that agribusiness company Gallagher is marketing. Flashmate is a single-use electronic device. It was being trialled by Southland dairy farmer Jeff Clark on his Winton property when we visited him in November 2015. Matt Yallop explains how it all came about. We'd spent 12 years around technology in and around New Zealand and I was actually up in Iceland for a while looking at how they were solving big problems in the fishing industry. I noticed that they had a bit of a trend of using technology to solve those problems. So when I got back, I thought hard about what we might be able to do around New Zealand's big industry here, which is dairy, and uh, you know some particularly valuable problems that we might solve. We looked at uh, the falling rate of uh, estrus detection or heat detection, you know, the falling efficiency there, and that it's driven by bigger farms and the challenge of attracting and retaining experienced and skilled staff. And we thought we'd have a crack at that, uh, try and make it easier for farm managers to get a really good heat result without cracking too much of a sweat at a pretty stressful time of year. This is a low cost electronic solution really. It's basically using a modified touch surface. It's got a little chip in there and the smarts are baked in. Basically, it's looking for patterns in the mounting behaviour. And what we found has been quite fascinating, actually. So more than half the riding activity happens during the hours of darkness when no one's really around to look. We've also found that uh, as many as one in six cows won't stand to be ridden by the herd mates. So, you know, you can see there's quite a challenge there for picking those quiet cows. Um, what we've got in the end is a device that sits off the tail ridge, so we're not sort of trying to go against tail paint or anything. In fact, it's designed to work in with tail paint. We're down the side of the ridge a bit, away from the tail paint. Um, but the benefits are it's just it's simple and it's accurate. And it's sort of more at the diagnostic end. It's not needing highly skilled people to devote a huge amount of energy into interpreting the scratch, uh, the scratch surface or the, the tail paint rubbing. It's basically as simple as the red light comes on, you breathe the cow. The technology picks up on a range of things. It's first and foremost obviously the mounting behaviour, but we're also getting some of the other activity, the chin resting, the nuzzling. So it's picking up a range of things where cows are interested in the other cows as they're coming onto heat. We're getting great feedback. In fact, uh, a lot of farmers have been saying, look, if we're more sure around the heat detection, we'd probably use the vets more around the scanning. And certainly if we're seeing cows that are just not coming to heat or they're having problems, we can make an intervention there. The beautiful thing about this is it stays on the cow a lot longer and these things will come back on again. If you've got a uh, red flashing light, you inseminate it. Uh, after a period of 26 odd days, it'll, you'll get a green non-return light, which kind of tells you you've done the job. Now, a lot of farmers will shrug and say, yeah, that's nice. But of course, the benefit is if the cow slips and she comes back on again, gets ridden by her herd mates, it'll start alerting again. You've got choices, you know where you stand, you can, you can make your management decisions based on that. Fundamentally, at the end of the day, it's about more days in milk, it's about tighter calving periods, and it's about more artificially bred replacements. So you put all those things together and you've got a good proposition. It's 535 hectares. We're farming 850 cows. Obviously, it's not all effective, but we do some wintering on as well. Yeah, heifers are off farm. We're just helping out with the a trial and the, the R&D aspect. Um, once we have results and how effective it's been, we'll be able to work out um, you know, whether it's financially viable and how much it has helped us. Historically, we always tail paint the cows and we work primarily off that. Uh, there's been other times where we've utilised other heat detection devices as well, but the tail paint is the main thing we use for identification. With the new device, our empty rates were low and we were having good submission rates, so it was still working fine. We're around 7%, anywhere from 6.5% to 7.5%, so for 850 cows, we're pretty happy with that result, and um, yeah, it's just about being able to try and consolidate that first round mating. I think if there's a device out there that can help identify cows that we ordinarily haven't been able to identify with the tail paint, and also give us the ability for other staff to pick cows that are cycling. That sort of helps us spread the, the workload as well. And if we can rely on a device that is quite accurate, then that helps us across the board. The key thing we're looking, looking for is to be able to um, pick cows that um, ordinarily we wouldn't, wouldn't be able to identify. So therefore we get them in calf a cycle or 21 days before we ordinarily would 
and at the end of the day that means more milk in the vat. So yeah, and if we can extrapolate that out over 40 or 50 cows, it's got to be good for us. So far we're just you know, making observations, each cow we're taking notes on. Interestingly, we are seeing cows that uh, haven't had tail paint rubbed, but the flash mates are flashing. Uh, so we won't know that result until you know a, a cycle down the track. But um, yeah, they've been good. Jeff's basically our R and D chap down here at the moment. We've got probably two or three other farms at the moment, basically doing the same thing, but actually in full swing. They're all making notes. They're all taking we. Uh, suggestions and things like that for us as well that they feed back on quite a daily basis so we're, we're talking quite frequently to make sure that you know this is stuff that we feed back for when we go full swing. I suppose the big teller is hey you know at the end of it all what, what's our profit going to be and, and where's it going to benefit you know and, and making sure obviously the dollars you spend are going to be are going to be better than uh, than what they spent the year before. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.